Etsy is a search based platform. That means people are able to buy from you if they can first find you. And I'm going to share with you how to create the perfect Etsy title and tags that are proven to work for other people and can absolutely work for your listing as well. I'm going to share this all with you coming up next. So welcome back to the video, my friends. You're new here. My name is Jay on this channel. I teach you how to make passive income online by creating and selling your own products. So if you like content like this, then consider subscribing to my channel. Now, FRB is a great tool to use when you're trying to do product research. They give you so much data so you know exactly what products you need to focus on. And their two speeds up the research process so you can do product research on a massive scale. You see the sales data, you see what keywords they're using, even to see when the listing was actually created. Now, if you want to try out FRB on your own, I'll make sure I leave a link down below for you to get started and to see if this is best for your on-demand business. So here we are at Etsy. One of the first things we want to do is go into the search bar, just type up a particular phrase that we want to focus on. So of course we want to focus on Thanksgiving shirts or things that's tied to it. And even with, you know, the auto-populated words coming up with Etsy, we automatically see that Thanksgiving shirt has already 2000 people searching this up in the past 30 days. And so with this, we know this is a great niche for us to get into and to target but we want to go a little bit further and actually identify what specific keywords we can use on our Thanksgiving t-shirts that we can actually apply to our own listing. So from here, I want to click on this shirt. And right now I'm not concerned about, you know, the level of competition, because again, from this large keyword, like Thanksgiving shirt, we're going to find some micro niches and products that are selling well, that can actually help us identify keywords to use. So usually when people come to us, you know, the results like this, they try to find some keywords. But the thing here is that before I try to pull out keywords from titles, I want to identify which product is selling well. That is why the product analytics tool is so important with Everbee because it gives me that additional information to see what products are selling well. And from there, I can actually grab some keywords from their titles I can use in my own Etsy listing. So what I'm specifically looking for when I come to this page is I'm looking at, of course, how many monthly sales they receive. I'm looking at the total sales, but I'm also looking at the listing age. Now, being that this is a seasonal item, I need to be mindful that if I'm coming up to the season, of course, the search volume will increase over time. So when we are looking at monthly sales, we got to you know, look at that with the proper perspective that we're not even in the peak season yet. So obviously the monthly sales would not necessarily show the possibility of what it can be in the future. So we have to really go back in time and look at the total sales and see, okay, what have people done in a reasonable time frame that could be what my monthly sales are or my total sales volume in this year could be. So I like to look at, again, nothing going back, you know, 25 months, but something within the realm of 11 months, 12 months, 13 months. But if it's going into the, you know, 25, 22 month age, I don't want to focus on that because I think there's a lot of potential of things that were trending last year that could be trending this year as well. All right, so we have an example t-shirt here. The listing age is 11 months. That means whatever sales they gather was because of the sales from last year during the Thanksgiving time. And again, they received just a little over a thousand sales for this product. And even in the past 30 days, it has received 93 sales. So this will be a you know, perfect product for me to actually learn from, gather from. We can get some additional data in regards to keywords, which is the main point of this video. But we can even go a little step further and see okay, what are the design elements I can utilize, the mock-up style they're using that I can integrate over into to my own product design. Now we can click on this with the Everbee tool and it will give us some additional information we can see right here in this search tool that can help us focus on some keywords to use for our listing. So obviously we see the title here, some additional information that we saw also in our layout, the age of the listing, total sales, monthly sales. We see the monthly revenue. We also see the reviews, the views itself, favorites, and of course the average views per month. Now, one of the things I like to do when I see items like this is go down into the tags area because I'm able to see all of the keywords they're using on their listing. Now, this is huge because if I am focusing on selling a seasonal item, like for instance, this is a Thanksgiving t-shirt, then there's obviously Thanksgiving keywords I want to focus on that's gaining traffic for this product that would gain traffic for my product. And that's why seasonal items are so important is because there's certain keywords that we can integrate into our listing that's only going to be useful for this particular time frame. I want to focus on keywords that are seasonal because those seasonal keywords is what's driving traffic to this seasonal product. So as we go down and see all the keywords they're using here, one of the things that automatically catch my eye 
is the search volume and how every single t-shirt keyword is actually gaining traffic in some way either be 136 searches per month or we go in here and almost 4,000 searches per month and so you definitely want to make sure every single keyword you use in your tags is something that's actually going to gain you some traffic and a little side note if it's gaining traffic with the keyword itself in the tags, then use that same keyword in the title because that's going to give you even more visibility because they, you know, as they put so much emphasis on your title, that's going to drive in more traffic for your product as well. And so just looking at this layout here, we can read this by understanding this is the keywords here. This is a search volume and this is the level of competition. I personally you know, don't necessarily look at the level of competition when I'm creating my tags because I just want to focus on the search volume because that's how other people are going to find my product. If someone clicks on a shirt that says Thanksgiving shirt, and what Etsy is going to show them next time they open up their browser to Etsy is other Thanksgiving shirts that's related to what they previously searched up. So your product won't just be visible in search, but as they are clicking on other items and they go back to their homepage, Etsy is going to show them other relatable items where your product can be found on their Etsy homepage. And so again, you definitely want to focus on things that's driving in traffic because those things can give you opportunities to be visible, just not in search, but in other areas where your shirt can be visible on Etsy. All right, so here are some great keywords to use for Thanksgiving shirts. And we need to be mindful as well that the product needs to be relevant to what the keyword is. So for instance, if our product doesn't have any cheetah pumpkin in it, then it's probably not best to put cheetah pumpkin in our tags, but we definitely want to pull some things over that is extremely relevant and relatable to our product. And because we are selling a seasonal item like Thanksgiving shirt, most of these can transfer over into any Thanksgiving shirt you are creating. So again, we have fall shirt, Thanksgiving gift, Thanksgiving shirt, pumpkin shirt and again we need to make sure that we utilize pumpkin shirt if we have a pumpkin design if our t-shirt is a chicken shirt and we don't have any pumpkin in it then that's not going to convert well for our customers so we have thanksgiving family fall vibes thankful shirt turkey shirt friends thanksgiving leopard pumpkin friends giving shirt cheetah pumpkin and grateful and blessed. So one of the things we definitely want to do is to copy these keywords over to our listing, because again, if they're getting traffic for somebody else, they can get traffic for us. Now, if you do want to just hold all these keywords later to actually utilize in other places, you can actually copy the entire listing here of the keywords, and you can upload this to a spreadsheet or to a Google file, where I believe you should do, because if you're creating multiple t-shirts in this particular niche or the season, then these things can be extremely helpful for you to have all these keywords on the side you see the search volume see the competition see the keyword itself and you can start plugging these into different listings where it becomes relevant to the product you can actually utilize this as a keyword database to create hundreds of different products that's related to this seasonal item if we do want to copy all keywords over we can click on this button here and it will copy all of the tags for us but if you want to copy just individual tags itself we can click on a particular keyword and that has copied over to our clipboard and we can plug that over to our etsy listing in our title or in our tags to use for our product now, when I do product research for seasonal items, I'm not necessarily concerned more so if I see a best sellers badge or not, because again, the best sellers badge take into account what is the sales velocity in the past six months. And being that this is a seasonal item, then I'm, I can't expect this to get sales in the seventh month or the eighth month or the 10th month of the listing. Yes, you have some listings like that where people buy all the time, but this particular listing here doesn't have a best sellers badge. That doesn't deter me too bad because when I go down and I see the reviews on this, I can see this product alone has received 272 reviews. Being that it is a seasonal listing, I know that most of these reviews were gathered in the time of the peak season. So I know it takes between five to seven you know, purchases for there to even be left one review on average. So I know this right here has done extremely well and I can learn a lot from this listing and integrate that over into my own design style to list on my Etsy shop. All right, so here is another listing that is doing well and is perfect for us to start selling on our Etsy shop. This here has only been around for a month, but in the month that it was around, it generated 34 sales. And so we can click on this to see some additional information here. Again, we see the title, we see the thumbnail image, but when I go down here and say, okay, what keywords are they using to gain traffic? Another thing I point to again is that when I see the search volume, there's nothing hitting zero or below zero. 
every keyword they're using here is driving in tons of traffic and it's gaining them tons of sales in the first 30 days of the listing. So again, this is what I mean by gathering information on best selling items and start building a database on keywords that's driving in tons of sales. So one of the things we're going to start realizing when we start doing product research is see some additional things that are trending as well because of the season itself. Yes, we are in a Thanksgiving season, but we're also in the football season. We're also in a sports season where we can combine these two things and merge this over to create our own design. Now, if I go to the listing here, I can see some additional information. It does have a best sellers badge. It does have 20 plus people in the cart. And again, I need to make sure that if I am utilizing their keywords, my keyword is relevant to my product design so that I can increase my conversion because the people are typing this in, it needs to be relevant to what they see. So I see they're using this in the beginning of their title, tis the season shirt, Thanksgiving pumpkin shirt. So again, we see them utilizing two things here, just not the pumpkin or the Thanksgiving trend, but also the football season trend by adding in this particular design style here. So again, we can go down here and see the level of reviews being that this product just dropped in the last 30 days and it is receiving sales already. We're not going to see a large amount of reviews for this product. That's why utilizing, you know, additional tools like Everbee can give us that information for us to really see this is a trending item. And even though it has seven reviews on this product, we know the age of the listing is within the 30 days and they're getting tons of sales on this product. We can create additional products that's related to this listing in our own creative way, but go back in here and utilize some keywords to drive in tons of traffic like they're driving in tons of traffic to their product that we can gain sales as well. And here is another listing that's doing well. Again, this listing age is 12 months in the lifetime of the listing and has received 806 sales. And in the past 30 days, it has received 66 sales. When I go in here, I can see additional information as I have done with my other products here. I can go here and look at the search volume and automatically I see keywords they're using is driving in ton of search volume. Again, I can plug out individual keywords I want to use on my listing, or I can go ahead and copy all keywords and utilize this as a database the reason why I do this for multiple products and just not one is because there might be some additional keywords that's not found in other products that are found in this product. And once I have a large amount of best selling products that's doing well in a particular niche like this one here, Thanksgiving niche, I can actually find different products to create different keywords to leverage. And again, build a catalog of products utilizing several keywords that's driving in tons of traffic that I can utilize in my own Etsy product. So as you can see, finding great keywords to use for your title and tags is really easy to do with Everbee because you know everything you're plugging into your Etsy listing is based upon data and the results of somebody else. And again, if they were able to get sales and traffic with those keywords, that's a high chance you can get traffic and sales with those same keywords as well. Now, in today's video, I didn't have time to talk about how to actually create a t-shirt product and how to actually utilize some great elements as well as some design styles that's doing well across the board of every t-shirt however if you want to learn that next step then check out this next video here and if you want to learn more about how to make passive income online then make sure you subscribe to my channel here so always my friends my name is jay and i will see you in the next video